Intense flames and smoke captured on video obtained by SCW News. Within 50 seconds of arriving, firefighters pouring water launching an aggressive attack on a downtown Stockton residence. On scene, news reported a fire on the porch that rapidly accelerated to the whole front side of the building. During the peak of the firefight, 29 firefighters responded to help extinguish the flames after a second alarm was dispatched. About 50 seconds after arrival, they actually had deployed a large master stream, a deck gun, to extinguish the large volume of fire that was on the port. So it took about five minutes total to get water to the fire after the report of the alarm. The smoke and flames could be seen from far out catching the eyes of downtown Stockton workers and crosstown commuters. I heard the fire engines went up to the rooftop, could see the smoke, so came over just to make sure because my friend has an alignment shop over here that it wasn't burning. I saw all the flames from the freeway, so I just came over to see. And this building, just a stone's throw away from downtown Stockton, has seen this same fire response not once, but twice. Just in March, another two alarm fire ripped through the same property. The building has burned several times before. Um, we've had fires in the back area of this building. This was a different location than where it has burned before. Yeah. And before that, flames also engulfed a structure just feet away. There was like two other fires in this exact place. And then um, there's an apartment over here on this other side. And uh, like, it caught on fire too as well. This time, firefighters responding quickly enough to stop the fire from reaching a neighboring structure narrowly avoiding the misplacement of even more Stockton residents. Yes, there are a lot of firefighters. They were here quickly because it was only maybe 10 minutes since I had seen it to where until I got here. So they were here quick. And so far, no word yet on the cause of this fire, although firefighters say that the building was vacant at the time. Reporting in Stockton, Gabriel Porras, SCW News.